live from the studios of STL TV in Forest Park, it's the best of the STL. On tonight's show, Bonfire co-founder and CEO, Mark Sawyer. And Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, St. Louis Metropolitan Alumni Chapter. Heating things up in the kitchen, private chef, Julie M. Hale. Here's your entertainment for tonight, Irie Sun. And here are your hosts. Please welcome Cassandra Walker and Ivy Hartman. Welcome to the show. I'm Cassandra Walker. And I'm Ivy Hartman. You know, Cassandra, with the seasons changing, yes, they I'm are. getting ready to change my wardrobe over. Oh, you what know, are you going to do? You know, uh, you know, a little bit of shopping, of course. Uh -huh. You know, St. Louis has great boutique, boutiques around. Yep. But the other great thing is that we have our own, very own fashion events that start happening in That's springtime. True. Coming up in the third week of April, we'll have St. Louis Fashion Week. And we so will. in those weeks leading up to it, it's a fun thing to do. Although... Sometimes they show the fall stuff, you know, in the spring. Yeah, so. that's true. Mm -hmm. You're always thinking ahead. Mm, yeah, <laughs> you have to in fashion. Yes. yes, and I think you know you kind of have the little spring colors going on there, Ivy. Beautiful. I'm so the ready. Fall. Thank you. I am to the warm weather. You know, it just brings out the best in people. Do you mm -hmm. know they say that people that live in areas that don't get a lot of sunshine tend to be a little more, more de depressed. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They I'm have glad. a lamp for that, you know. They have a lamp. Oh for yeah, it. you just get wow. a UV lamp and you. Do. Yeah. I'm sure you say a lamp or app. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we can ask our, one of our. I guess Mark Sawyer That's about that right. one. Maybe he might have an app idea for something like that, the Winter Blues app. Yes, because <laughs> he is the founder, co-founder of Bonfire. And you're yeah. going to find out more about that. It's quite interesting yes. for all you app lovers out there. Now, we were talking about Twitter uh, backstage, Ivy, and how oh, it's just yeah. progressing so much. People tweet every little thing. I had an appointment, and someone tweeted, and I didn't know that they canceled the appointment because they didn't email me. Yep, yep. And tw so we're on Twitter. We are. We're figuring it out. We are. We're right trying. And Facebook. Facebook. We're ah, working on that one. Yeah. Yep. YouTube. Yep, all that good stuff. From St. Louis to? Singapore. You got it. You're going to on that one. You know what? I it's know. so <laughs> fun because here we are, a show of ladies. We've got yes. LJ in the audience and Cara okay. in the kitchen. That's right. It's mm -hmm. super fun. Glad you could join us. We're going to toss it over to LJ and see what she's got going on. I am having the best time ever here at the Best of the STL in the studio audience. Don't you like this studio audience? <laughs> These are some of the best looking and the best people here in St. Louis. And you, too, could be a part of our studio audience. We got free tickets. We want to give them to you. All you have to do is call us. Give us a call, 314-552-2970. And you, too, could be a part of this beautiful studio audience. Speaking of beautiful people, I am here with the illustrious Louise T. Wilkinson of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. My sorority, welcome to the show. You're welcome, soror. You're welcome. Oh, Thank yeah. you. I know. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh, Delta's to the floor. Here we are. So, it's our 100 year anniversary. Yes. Tell the audience about this sorority you and I love so much. Okay, this sorority was founded uh, 100 years ago, January 13th, 1913, at Howard University in Washington, D.C. And its focus was it was founded by 22 courageous young women who wanted to focus on making the world a better place versus having tea and crumpets and parties. We do a lot of good stuff. Yes, because a lot of people think that sororities just get together and we do things that women do, yes. like pick curtains or <laughs> all kinds of silly stuff. But we do work in this organization since its inception. And some of the activities that we have coming up talk about the work that we do, like the Skating for Scholarship. Tell us about that. 
Yes, uh, one of our signature programs in the St. Louis Metropolitan Alumni Chapter is to provide scholarships for uh, young people going to college and some who are already in college. And so one of our fundraisers is coming up March 15th uh, at St. Nick's Skating Rink, and it's a family-oriented affair. Uh, $10 for adults, $5 for children, and you can find out more about it on our website. Because we have a website and we list a lot yes. of these great events that yes. we're talking about today along with the number of other events that we have coming up. We have one special event that's coming up, our first annual social action event. Tell yes. us about that fair. Uh, it's going to be April 13th at the Innovative Concept Academy, 1927 Cass Avenue. Uh, and it's going to, the focus is to link citizens with various agencies and organizations in the community that can meet some of their needs in the area of, um, I would say, housing, employment, um, all sorts of services. And there will be a wide range of um, breakout sessions, motivational speaker, attendance prizes, and so forth. And so we hope to repeat this social action fair each year, each spring. I think we can do it. People are going to come out and support. So tell them how to get to our website, how to find out all the great things that we're doing. All right. Uh, the web address is www.dstslmac.com. Check us out. Delta's in the house, y'all. Let's see what Cara has going on over there in that kitchen. Cara? Thanks, LJ. Well, I have personal chef, Chef Hale, with me, and we are going to focus on desserts today. Now, you go to people's homes, correct? Yes, correct. Yep. And they tell you what they want you to cook for them and their guests. Right. And so I look at these desserts. They're so delicious. Um, and I'm sure that most of um, the people who hire you to come to their home say, I want dessert, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. They and, always want dessert. Well, what about if they are health conscious or they have a certain restriction? What do you do about that? Um, that's a good question. Actually, there are clients of mine that um, are, they have special dietary needs mm -hmm. or they're diabetic. Um, so they will meet with me and we'll go over the menu together and they have um, certain, certain needs and things that they can't have. Maybe I have a client that's lactose intolerant or something like that so they can't have any dairy. So I need to make sure that um, it's important that I sit down with my clients, go over the menu together, make sure that it's something that um, they're happy with and satisfied with and then uh, go from there. Yeah. Well tell us what you have out here. Sure. This is a uh, mini raspberry cheesecakes. And this is a chocolate fudge brownie cookie. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, just a taste of, of some of the things this that I made. This does yeah. have a lot of sugar in it, right? Yes, it does. Yes, that's why I love it so much. Okay, so we'll come back with you. We'll hear about some more desserts and some other types of food that Chef Hale prepares for her guests. But first, let's do a Sam's giveaway, okay? Sam's gives us $35 to give away to our guests. Savings Made Simple, and we pick a name beforehand, and the name that we chose is Tanika Dixon. So Tanika Dixon in the audience, can you stand up? You have $35 for Sam's. Thank you, Sam's, and I'll give this to you later on, but now let's head on to the main stage with Cassandra and Ivy. Thank you so much, yeah. Cara. The desserts look delicious. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Ivy, our next guest is a passionate entrepreneur and creative problem solver. I would say so. He is the co-founder and CEO of the all-new experience network known as Bonfire. I can't wait to hear all yeah. about it. So please help us welcome Mr. Mark Sawyer. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, Bonfire, I want you to give us some background on it, what it's all about, and obviously it's quite current and trendy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, as you mentioned, it's an experience network, and basically the idea is instead of um, trying to share content with hundreds of Facebook friends, most of whom might not really care about your ski trip or you know some particular event you're doing, um, we decided to create a way for people to share around the things they're doing with the people that they're actually doing them with. So I need to break it down a little bit more. All right. So is it I create an account online or it's an app I can download mm -hmm. to my Android or iPhone mm -hmm. uh, or any 
Apple device, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then I can post my photos from my float trip and then invite those people yeah. that are also on there. Is that right? Yeah, so basically bonfires, you can think of them as uh, a private environment created around an event or an experience. And inside that bonfire, you can chat, you can share photos, and you can share video in real time. So Ooh. the only people that are actually can ever see that content are the people that are actually a part of it. And so that's why we've seen uh, like the, set, the new city school in St. Louis is using it as second grade class as a way to privately share photos of kids throughout the day with their parents. Mm -hmm. Without it being, you know, sometimes needing your permission. Exactly, really exactly. Way out because because you don't want that information going yeah, on Facebook. But you as a parent would like to see a picture of your cute kids throughout the day. Okay, so Ivy, uh, <laughs> I'm not crazy, but I just now get it. Bonfire. No, you're like you're around. around the <laughs> so you know when you said that about you know thinking people are crazy or or want to want to protect your children from all the things right. that could be out there. What, in your opinion, is right and wrong with mm -hmm. social media? That's a, that's, a big, that's a big version. question. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think that what we've seen, and this is just from my personal experience, I mean, I was in college when Facebook first came out, and mm -hmm. so it was a pretty amazing place when everybody I cared about was in one place sharing photos, et cetera. Yeah. And, you know, as time has gone on, I've got 900 Facebook friends, but no one really has 900 friends. I've got 900 people I've met. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, it's not really about right or wrong. It's really... Facebook's a great way to share something with the whole world or to see some, what you know, the whole world is up to, but it's not such a great way to share photos from my ski trip or some particular event I'm at. It's okay. very exciting. I'm looking forward to hearing what's next for Bonfire and a little bit more about how you got, all, got started and all that good stuff, including yeah. all the other adventures, but we're going to take a quick break. All right. All right, so <laughs> Mark agreed to stay with us. I hope that you will, too. Come back right after this break. More with Mark right after this. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified, not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who take action are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making Home Affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Welcome back. Now we're talking to Mark Sawyer about Bonfire. And now you just mentioned something to us during the break about the fact that Fashion Week and a live magazine may be also using Bonfire. Can you tell us in what capacity? Yeah, we've been really excited. You know, um, since launching in October, we've really had quite a bit of traction, particularly with some larger event partners. The St. Louis Rams have been using Bonfire, Live Magazine, as you mentioned. And so Alive's using Bonfire as a way for everyone that's a part of that experience to be able to seamlessly chat and have photos and look at content um, related to that particular event series. How do you keep from getting too big? Mm. Well, that, that's a great question. And really, it just comes down to the size of the event. Um, because mm -hmm. ultimately, I mean, we've had bonfires with thousands of people, and we've had bonfires with hundreds. Mm -hmm. So it really just, just depends. All okay. right. Backing up a bit, it's been interesting to talk with you during the break about how Facebook influenced you in terms of, mm -hmm. you know, creating bonfire. Talk, this is not your first foray into entrepreneurship. <laughs> Back it up for us. Tell us what else you've been involved in. Yeah, well, so I think, um, you know, like many companies are started these days, uh, out of my dorm room at WashU, I started a website called movingoffcampus.com. Um, built that in a site that today helps about 2 million students move off campus every year. 
After doing that, built a marketing agency, and then came Bonfire. Wow. All right. So are you taking notes? Does moving to, is this a national organization? <laughs> it is. It is. All right. It is. Yep. It's, still, it's still there. But I mean, Bonfire is really our, our focus. It's something you know we're all extremely excited yeah, about. Yeah, the moving thing. I thought of you with the boys moving off <laughs> campus. Ah, yeah. how about moving out of your house? <laughs> Get out. He's ready. Put a picture of a boot kicking. Oh. oh I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Here's well, a nap. You know, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, Ivy, actually, Sometimes it's, I feel like we're an app overload. Mm. Everybody and their mm. mother has an app. I might as well get an app. I don't mm. know Go for it. Call. But so how do you think apps improve our lives? Because I know there are many that I use and I think this is great. And then there's some you get and go, this is not so great. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's certainly a crowded marketplace, and I think mm -hmm. one of the, the ways that we've really been able to stand out is because of our focus around events and experiences, um, it's pretty unique in the marketplace. And so, you know, the way we grow is not just by someone discovering it because someone used it on a ski trip, like I mentioned, or a mm -hmm. birthday party, but it's also when the St. Louis Rams use it for one of their home games, or a live magazine uses it for the fashion fashion week. So, um, you know, that's that's really how we've been able to stand out. Okay. Now, what has been the most memorable experience for you throughout all of your journey? <laughs> you know, I mean, be, moving from New York to St. Louis mm -hmm. to go to Wash U, mm -hmm. uh, starting a, a, a business out of your dorm room that's still going today, now another foray. Mm -hmm. And um, are you going to give us any tips into what else in, in that little portfolio of yours <laughs> coming up next? Yeah. Well, you know, um, I think the most, the, the, the kind of most memorable experiences yeah. are really stem from um, just kind of watching my, you know, the company grow or really, you know, participating in it, but growing from one person to three to, you know, now almost 15 people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just been really exciting to, you know, have such great support in the St. Louis community, um, you know, and have great people around me to help make that happen. So are you looking for other ideas or do they just come to you? For instance, <laughs> you know, I know. I mean, think about it. Are you the type of person that just pops in your mind? I guess I'm just or? restless. I don't know. Um, <laughs> You know, there's an uh, app for that. There, there, yeah. is, there must be. There's an app for everything. So. <laughs> That is interesting. Oh, well, earlier, before when we were opening up the show, we were talking about the winter blues, and we were joking about how, you know, you can get a UV light to work. So <laughs> has the weather affected you at all moving to St. Louis? Or are you... Well, you know, New York gets pretty cold, too. Yep. So um, yeah. it's, it's it, you know, it's not really a big change. Although I think it's actually, it's, there are longer, warmer periods in St. Louis. So I've really enjoyed that. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I, I do like that. Okay, so going back a couple months ago, I have, have this uh, issue of um, our live and St. Louis magazine, both of them at home. And I like going back to them because here's why it was one of my favorite is, is what's that good to eat is St. Louis magazine mm. in St. Louis, right? And so they had all these famous people going, oh, what's your favorite mm. dish and where? And it was really cool. So if you were asked that question, what Ooh. would you say? Man, well, Steve's hot dogs is pretty good. Hey! Down the street from our office, so, so we do go there all the time. That's definitely in the in the top three for me for sure. Mm -hmm. So you, because you're from New York and there's hot dogs there everywhere, that's right. That's right. like that's Chicago. Right. Yeah, give me the pound right. for that one. That's right. All right, so tell us what's going to be coming up next for you then, Mark. Well, you know, with Bonfire, we're really focused on, you know, we just launched in October, um, and we've, as I said, seen some great traction. So we're going to be launching uh, the web version of Bonfire. So actually everything you can do on, on from the mobile app, you'll be able to do from our website as well in the coming months. Um, and then also just continue to diversify our partnerships. Um, you know, Sports Illustrated is an organization we're going to be working with. We're very excited about um, more professional sports teams and concerts. So, you know, just more partnerships and Trying to keep it going and growing. All right, that sounds wonderful. I, I know, I love know it. How they can get all more. right, all right. You know, you can download the app from Google Play or an iTunes, Apple iTunes account. Thank you. I'll get it out. And it's bonfire with a Y app.com where you can find out more information. Excellent. Mark, thank you so much. Thank for you coming. so much for having yes. me. I love to talk to entrepreneurs. I just know. Spurring that economy. It is us. exciting. Mm -hmm. And Kara's with a great entrepreneur in the kitchen as well. Kara? Hi, well, I'm enjoying eating some desserts over here. I know you guys are just super jealous about that. But I'm with personal chef, Chef Hale, who's made these wonderful desserts tonight. And do you cater to a certain type of client? Um, well, I, I cater to anybody yeah. that's looking for a private chef. Um, so I can uh, kind of take some you like know, that, birthdays. Yeah, or? birthdays. I do birthdays. I do bachelor parties. Mm -hmm. I do oh. um, 
dinner parties. What kind of requests are for bachelor parties? Uh, right. <laughs> I get some pretty crazy requests for that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I do dinner parties mainly, mm -hmm. uh, birthday parties. I love doing cakes for kids. So I just do an array of things, appetizers, not just desserts. I do entrees. Right. Um, so you starters. do other dishes. And actually, yes. Yes. we actually have pictures of different dishes that you've done. It's These are actually some of your favorite, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's so, a butternut squash soup that I did. That is gorgeous. I love the colors on that. And you design all that yourself, yes, right? Yes. Very nice. That was a Kentucky Derby party that I did. So people call you yeah. and they say, hey, we're having a Kentucky Derby party. Come on over, bring your horses and right, food, right? exactly. They got a theme. I love that. That's um, apple slices with prosciutto and a little bit of manchego oh, cheese. I see that. Nice. Yeah. So how many dishes, real quickly, like, how many dishes usually do you make for a party, usually for a party of 10? Or... Um, it, it depends. Whatever mm. the client wants. Um, mm -hmm. I'll do a full course meal, you uh -huh. know, where I have starters, appetizers. I'll do a, a main entree and also uh, finish with a dessert. Mm -hmm. And I do, I pair it with all wine for each one if they want. Right. So, so yeah. So if they're not wine connoisseurs, you can actually do that yourself. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so when I come, I also do it. I do the grocery shopping for them, mm -hmm. um, and I also do the cooking for them, and then I stay and clean up so afterwards. Good. You so, clean up afterwards, yeah, too. Yeah, I clean up afterwards, too. Did you so. hear that, everybody? <laughs> That's she reason enough to afterwards. hire me. <laughs> okay? No dishes or nothing. Do you bring your own dishes? Or? Um, sometimes I do. It depends if the client's got a fully equipped kitchen or not. But I've got my own things. I can bring my serving trays. I've got um, a fully equipped kitchen myself, so I can bring my things, pots and pans, if they need me to. So. That's brilliant. Yeah. And when did you decide that you wanted to do something like this? Well, I went to culinary school, and I was like, oh, what can... I was thinking about different options I want to do with my career, because mm -hmm. I always wanted the cook mm -hmm. and I was like well I want to be my own boss you know nice who doesn't so, yeah right who so doesn't? I yeah. want to be my own boss so I decided that I was going to be a private chef mm -hmm. and I started off cooking for friends family members and it just kind of took off from there so. well it is delicious Thank tell you. us how now you're giving away tell us how to contact you but you're also giving away to free dinners, right? Two free dinners, yes. Okay. Um, you can contact me. You can find me at Chef Julian Hale. Um, I have a Facebook page, Chef Julian Hale. Also on Pinterest, you can Google me at Julian Hale. Um, so yeah, book your next event with me. And, and what about the dinner? How do you, you get on and you... Oh, to win the dinner, mm -hmm. what you do is you go to Chef Julian Hale on my Facebook page, hit like, and I want you to uh, list your favorite dish favorite and the dish. most innovative dish will win uh dinner for two so nice yeah, so if they just say hey i like kentucky fried chicken whatever they're right gonna, right yeah, hey, hey, not gonna you win. never know it might win okay might win. <laughs> there you go <laughs> well let's head on over to the band with lj they have been lulling you with their sweet sweet music all night let's give it up one more time for irie sun <laughs> Sweat, you hit me like a vision. I, I, I wasn't expecting. But who am I to tell Faye where it's supposed to go with it? Don't you think you might miss it? We gotta like to just love it, or leave it, you find it, and keep it. Cause it ain't every day you get the chance to say, Oh, this is how it starts. And it's just hard. Goes off like a gun. Brighter than the sun. Oh, it could be. But it from the sky Shining how we were Brighter than the sun well, I, said, I found this love, I wanna feed it You better believe I'm gonna treat it Better than anything I've ever had Cause you're so dang beautiful, read it Signed and delivered, let's seal it Boy, we go together like peanuts and paydays and molly and reggae Cause everybody needs to get a chance to say Oh, this is how it starts Lightning strikes the heart Goes off like a gun Brighter than the sun Oh, it could be the stars Falling from the sky Shining how it was Brighter than the sun Brighter than the sun This is how it starts 
that it strikes the heart Goes up like a gun Brighter than the sun Oh, this is how it starts That it strikes the heart Goes up like a gun Brighter than the sun Oh, this is how it starts That it strikes the heart Goes up like a gun Brighter than the sun Oh, this is how it starts That it strikes the heart Goes up like a gun Better than the sign Ooh, oh, This is how it starts I like that! I am here with Connor and Jessica of Irie Sun How did you guys come up with that name? Well, um, Irie is just like means feeling good in Jamaican and it's just we're feeling good music, and we want feeling you to good feel good. Feeling good, man. <laughs> yes, definitely. So how do you select a lot of the songs that you all choose to play? Um, it's just all what we like. So we just, if we hear a song and we like it, we just learn it and play it. <laughs> so you just play what you like. And you, we can find you guys in a number of different places. Where can we come hear you? Uh, we play at Tequila Mexican Restaurant every Friday. I mean, Saturday. And then we're playing at Delio's. Upcoming and Sky Music Clowns upcoming. So you guys are really pretty busy. Definitely, yeah. So is there musical things in the works? You're gonna have a CD come out. We can catch it on iTunes. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, I think definitely. Don't you guys think definitely? <laughs> definitely. Definitely soon. Definitely soon. soon. So we should check you out. Can we find you on YouTube? Yeah, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and IrySun.com. IrySun.com, guys. IrySun.com. They're the best. I love them. You should love them. But I think they're eating in that kitchen without me. What do you guys got going on over there? <laughs> We're eating. <laughs> These are not the desserts you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> we have no desserts over here. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Thanks to Chef oh, yeah. for joining Thanks us. We want to thank our guests tonight. That We had a lot of fun with Mark and the Deltas for visiting with us. Absolutely. And thank you so much for our audience and our viewers at home. Again, thank you so much. And to our sponsors who take good care of us. Thank oh, yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And last but certainly not least, Irie Sun. Yay! Take us out, guys. I don't